Hey friends, my name is Abby and today I will be reviewing a practice question with you. This practice question will be similar to one you may see when taking your NCLEX Next Generation exam. For today's video, we will be reviewing a select all that apply style question. Let's take a look. A 72-year-old client with a history of type 2 diabetes, osteoarthritis, and a recent fall at home has been admitted to the unit. The client has limited range of motion due to pain in their left hip, a laceration on their chin, and is disoriented to place and time. Which of the following interventions would be prioritized for this client? Select all that apply. 1. Administer pain medications as ordered. 2. Apply a pressure dressing to the laceration. 3. Assess blood glucose levels and administer insulin per order. 4. Assess neurological status using the Glasgow Coma Scale. 5. Collaborate with occupational therapy to work on ADLs. And 6. Collaborate with physical therapy for range of motion exercises. Okay, this is a select all that apply question, so remember to only select the choices that you find to be correct. With the next generation NCLEX, select all that apply questions can have anywhere from one to all answer choices being correct. Take a moment to pause this video, select your answer choices, then when you're ready, press play and we will review together. Okay, now that you've had a chance to review, let's go through each answer choice together. First, administer pain medication as ordered. Do we think pain management is a priority for this client? Yes or no? Yes, okay, why? Pain management is crucial for the client's comfort and for them to be able to participate in therapeutic intervention. Let's move on to answer choice number two. Second, apply a pressure dressing to the laceration. Do we think this is an appropriate intervention for this client? No, it is not. While addressing the laceration and monitoring for signs of infection are important components of wound care, the application of pressure dressings are typically used to control bleeding in wounds with significant hemorrhage. In this scenario, there is no mention of the wound actively bleeding or indications of a significant hemorrhage. Applying a pressure dressing unnecessarily to this wound could potentially worsen the wound and delay appropriate healing or treatment. Let's move on to the third answer choice. Third, assess blood glucose levels and administer insulin per order. Why might these interventions be important to this client? To maintain glycemic control. Because they have a history of type 2 diabetes, injuries, such as a fall, can put stress on the body, which can affect blood glucose levels. It is important to monitor and manage blood glucose to prevent complications for this client. Great work. Let's keep reviewing the remaining answer choices. Fourth, assess neurological status using the Glasgow Coma Scale or the GCS. What circumstances can you think of that would indicate using the GCS to assess a client? Clients experiencing altered mental status, decreased level of consciousness, or neurological impairment. So knowing that, do we think this would be an appropriate intervention for our client? Yes! This client experienced a fall that resulted in a laceration to their chin. This injury, along with the client being disoriented to place and time, could indicate potential neurological issues resulting from the fall. The GCS score provides objective data that can be used to guide treatment and predict outcomes. Assessing neurological status using the GCS is a great intervention for this client. Moving on to the fifth answer choice, collaborate with occupational therapy to work on activities of daily living. Do we think this is a priority intervention for this client at this time? No, but do we think it's priority prior to discharge? Absolutely. But remember, while this is a select all that apply question, it is also a priority question. And now may not be the best time for this intervention. While working on ADLs is important, it is not the immediate priority for this client given their current condition and needs resulting from the fall. Last but not least, the sixth answer choice. Collaborate with physical therapy for range of motion exercises. Do we think this is a priority for this client? It is. Physical therapy for mobility and range of motion is essential to address the client's current and future limitations. Implementing this as soon as possible will prevent complications, aid in pain management, and facilitate a multidisciplinary approach to the client's care. Although these goals are more long-term, they will aid in promoting independence, and reduce fall risk while hospitalized and after discharge. So to review, the correct answers for this question would be one, two, three, four, and six. Thank you for reviewing this select all that apply question with me. Remember to subscribe to our channel so you can check out 
the other types of next generation NCLEX question formats, and stay up to date on all things here at Blueprint Nursing. Also check out Blueprint's other offerings to aid you in your NCLEX studying. See you next time!